In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the navigation system. In this particular vehicle, it's a 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. This also applies to the navigation equipped 2007 UP GM full size SUVs and trucks. This vehicle comes equipped with the Bose sound system, Dolby Digital DTS surround sound. As you can see, we're on the main radio screen. Some of the more basic functions you can see on the main screen. Down below, you can see your various favorited stations, whether it be XM, FM, so on and so forth. It's a full touch screen, as I showed you already. Easily selectable between the different screens. Auxiliary. Your auxiliary input is up here for MP3 audio devices. Also, your DVD is also integrated through this system. Now let's go ahead and start with the options on the left. You have your navigation, destination, repeat. If it gives you a voice guided command and you miss it, just hit repeat and it'll repeat that command. As well as the different menus for your favorite stations. It has a setting built in where right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, it says page one fave. If you keep hitting it, it goes to page two, three, four, five, and six, which is the maximum. You could set it to however many pages you want to store as many stations in here as you want up to six pages. Go up to navigation. You have your navigation here. The headlights are actually activated at the moment, so this is night mode. Display your points of interest, whether you want to go to a hotel, restaurants, airport. It'll display all of the local restaurants and whatever other points of interest that you want to look at. You can click on a specific one. Let's say you wanted to remember the exact spot that you were at for future re recall. Just hit this button here, mark. It'll search around for the address that you're at. You can name it, add a voice tag, put a phone number in, so on and so forth. Zoom in and zoom out here. It brings up the ruler. You can actually hit these buttons or touch a specific length on the ruler that you would like. Up to about 250 miles. As you can see at the top, it gives you real-time traffic updates. Click on the event, it'll tell you what's happening. Slow traffic. You can dual wield the radio and the navigation screen. Clock, easily set it here. Go over to destination. This is the guidance that I set over to Chili's. Simple as that. That's the main destination screen. Change your search area. Pick a point on the map, anywhere. You hit go, it'll search the route, come up with it, and it'll take you to that exact point, as you can see. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. Go back to destination, cancel guidance. Radio settings, treble, mid controls, bass, pretty much your basic audio controls that you can use via the touch screen. Back to your main audio screen, vehicle menu, there's your sound settings once again that you can also use as I showed you by, by pressing the tune button. Different radio settings, limit features while driving, number of preset pages like I showed you in the front screen, remove, add, XM categories. Automated volume control. It's basically speed compensated volume that increases the volume of the radio as you go down the road at higher speeds to kind of limit the driving noise. Navigation settings, traffic options, low fuel warning, off-road mode, route preference. Very easy to use. Bright contrast mode, turn your display off. 
rear camera options. To operate the rear view camera, just put the vehicle in reverse and it automatically pops up. Put it into drive and or park and that'll bring it back to the navigation screen. Seek forward, seek back. Hands-free phone mode mutes the radio. You also have voice commands by holding down the source button, which normally will change between like FM, XM, AM, so on and so forth. Hold it. Radio 104.7. Radio, select 104.7 FM. The flickering is just the trick of the camera. And you also have your brother radio controls and volume controls on the steering wheel. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of the radio navigation unit in the 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. If you have any more questions, just feel free to comment and I'll try my best to answer them. And if you have any other feature demonstrations you want me to make a video of, just let me know. Take care, guys. There's a lot more to come where that came from. And today, I'm at Hendrix Chevrolet Cadillac in Monroe, North Carolina.